how to groom a horse. And so the first thing you want to use is a curry comb. And there are many different variations. This is the basic curry comb. And then there are coarse curry combs. And then there's like jelly curry comb things that look kind of like this. And they're kind of shapeable. And then there's a curry mitt, which you put on like a mitten. And it shapes really well with the horse because it's very flexible. And so I'm just going to use a regular curry comb for this demonstration. And so with the curry comb, you want to just go in basic little circles like this all over the entire body. Except you don't want to go below the knee and you don't want to do it on the face. And um, what this does is it's got a bunch of little rubber spiky things. And so then that like digs up the loose dirt or not the dirt that's like embedded into their like fur and their skin. And so then you'll see a bunch of little like loose dirt afterwards that's just like kind of resting on top. And then you use a hard brush and we have two different types. This one has longer bristles and this one has shorter bristles, but they're both hard brushes. And so then with the hard brush, this gets the loose hairs and the dirt that the curry comb got up off of it. And so you do quick little movements like this. And you want to do a little bit firm because you're getting off the hair. And this is the main part of grooming. And so you do this over the entire body except the face. And then you use a soft brush, and you can use a medium brush in between here, and it just, it's just a more thorough job. But with a soft brush, you just brush along their bodies, and it just finishes it up, and it makes sure that all of their hairs are going the right way. And then, after that, you are done with the body, and you can brush their mane with a mane and tail brush, and you can brush the tail also. And well, there's manes on the other side. Uh, but I'll just show you a little bit with the tail. You just take a smaller piece, and then you just go like this, and you have to hold firmly above where you're brushing, so that you are just like tugging on the rear end and uh, pulling out hairs. And so that just gets it really nice and shiny, I guess, and then you can use this side to just kind of go over it. I mean, there are human brushes that look like both of these sides, and so it's pretty much just like what they do. And there's a sweat, sweat scraper you can use beforehand if it's like raining outside or if you're bringing them in and grooming them before you turn them out or put them in their stall. And so you just you do before everything else, and you just go along their body like this, and it just kind of... It's almost like a, um, a squeegee, and it just scrapes the sweat and water off of them. And then you can use the face brush. And this is a very soft and small brush. And this you just use to get all the dirt off of the face. And it's very gentle, and it doesn't hurt the horse at all, and it just cleans up their face. And then you can pick their hooves. And you can do this before everything or after. You can pretty much do this whenever. Um, I usually do it afterwards, though. And so you kind of like bring your hand along the horse. And, and you put pressure and they lift. And then they lift nicely for you. It's, they were trained like this. Um, most, some horses don't, aren't as good. Um, and so I have not picked his hooves at all today yet. And so you want to make sure that you um, avoid the frog, which is right here. And I usually start right here and you just dig up the dirt. And 
so yeah it, you just you get familiar with how the shape of the horse's hoof is the more often that you the more you um, pick them and so I usually dig out those places and you want to be very gentle on the frog because it's sensitive and then I usually go along here and get all that stuff out and there are two different types of hoof picks the hoof picks with a brush and hoof picks without and this one obviously has a brush and with the brush you can just get all the loose dirt off of their hoof I prefer the ones with the brush because I like that feature and so then once you have most of the dirt out you don't usually need to get all of the dirt out because this is mainly to make sure that there are, are no rocks in their hooves because those can hurt them and they can cause injury and you usually want to hold it I don't know why their finger thinks this way I always hold it like this and go like that so I don't really get those anyway so yeah with this little place in here I sometimes turn it around but you usually want to go this way because otherwise you're flinging dirt up into your face and so then after that you gently put their hoof down and then you do that with all of their hoofs and you're supposed to do that at least twice a day and then yeah I think that's it oh yeah I also have some rubber bands if you want to braid your horse's mane after you brush it out and so yeah Thank you for watching. Um, this is Snippet Star. See you later. Bye. Bye.